Don't fall victim to common mistakes when buying your next Samsung Galaxy device. Our insider's guide has got you covered. If you're a Samsung fan, you probably love the brand's sleek designs and powerful features. However, even the most dedicated Samsung users have to admit that their devices aren't without their flaws. Here are six of the worst things about Galaxy phones, according to a Samsung enthusiast. In this video, we'll take a closer look at these mistakes to help you make an informed decision when buying your next Samsung Galaxy device. 6. Bloatware Overload One of the most common complaints about Samsung devices is the sheer amount of pre-installed apps and software that come on the phone. These apps, often known as bloatware, take up valuable storage space on your device and can't be uninstalled or disabled. This means that if you don't use these apps, you're stuck with them taking up space on your phone. Some of the most common apps that come pre-installed include Samsung's own App Store, Bixby, and various other apps that are alternatives to Google Apps that come to on all Android phones. This can be incredibly frustrating for users who want to free up space on their devices. 5. Overprocessed Photos Samsung phones are known for their powerful camera software, which can produce stunning images. However, this can sometimes lead to overprocessing that makes images look fake and unnatural. This is particularly a problem on mid-range and budget Samsung devices. You might have noticed how the phone tends to overdo the processing and make your images look artificial. The software smoothens out skin and makes the photos look more vibrant, but it can be an issue if you want to capture natural images. Additionally, what you see in the viewfinder is often so different from the end result that you never really know what to expect from your camera, which can be frustrating. 4. One UI Annoyance one UI is generally considered to be one of the best Android skins out there, but it's not without its issues. Some users dislike the design of the app icons, the lack of a native option to change their shape, and the horizontal arrangement of the app drawer. This can make it difficult for users to find the apps they're looking for, as they're used to scrolling vertically to find them. Furthermore, several Samsung widgets aren't resizable, such as dual clock, digital well-being, Samsung internet search, Bixby routines, calendars month, and today, and more. This makes it harder for you to decorate your home screen the way you want. Other Samsung widgets are resizable, but only slightly. 3. Slow Fingerprint Scanning one of the most frustrating things about Samsung devices is the slow fingerprint scanning. Some Samsung users have complained that it takes too long to register fingerprints, especially for people with calluses or other skin abnormalities on their fingertips. Even once registered, some mid-range Galaxy phones take a long time to read fingerprints and unlock the lock screen. This can be incredibly inconvenient for users who are used to being able to unlock their phones quickly and easily. 2. Non-resizable widgets Samsung widgets such as the dual clock, digital well-being, and Bixby routines aren't resizable, making it harder to decorate your home screen. This can be frustrating for users who want to customize the look and feel of their devices. It limits the user's creativity and personalization options on the device. It's a small feature, but it can be frustrating for those who take pride in making their device unique and personalized. It's especially frustrating for power users who like to have control over every aspect of their devices. 1. Navigation Samsung has a tendency to put its own services as the default option for many actions in the UI. For example, long pressing the power button launches Bixby by default, not the power off menu. This can be frustrating for users who are used to the standard Android navigation. Additionally, many users also find that Samsung's own navigation buttons and gestures are not as intuitive as the default Android ones. Despite these drawbacks, Samsung phones are still some of the best Android devices you can buy. They offer a great balance of performance, design, and features, and have something for every budget. If you're thinking of buying a Samsung device, just be aware of these potential issues and decide whether they're deal breakers for you. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more informative videos and buyer's guides like this one. Make an informed decision and happy shopping.